So, Alex Ferguson, welcome to Gibraltar. Thank you. How did you actually find the journey here today? It's fine, yes. Uh, the weather's nice. It's, it's, uh, I think we come to Gibraltar expecting decent weather, and we've got it. Exactly. And yeah. the reception you've had. Um, oh, it's fantastic. But you know, it's an amazing thing about United. You get that all throughout the world. No matter where we go, there's always a, this incredible uh, sort of fascination with our mm. club and yeah. loyalty. Um, I just want to quickly talk about you, you yourself, I, um, obviously from Govan in, in Scotland. I wondered how it was when you first started playing football yourself, how easy or how difficult it was for you to get into the game as compared to um, the guys nowadays. Well, I think that it, for where I came from, the only thing you did was play football. And um, I started playing for a, the sort of a local street team, it was called the Govan Rovers. And strangely enough, they wore an Arsenal strip. <laughs> they did, yeah. <laughs> but um, then I joined my, uh, the Life Boys, which is, is a sort of a branch, a junior branch of the Boys Brigade, as it's known. And uh, but primary school didn't actually have a team. Couldn't get a teacher really to take them, but we formed a sort of a team and played some friendly games. And I played for my boys club team, my local boys club team. Ham the Row were a, were a famous boys club team of their time right. in boys club football. And uh, I think you just progress through that. When I went to uh, secondary school, of course, the Governor High Secondary School was a terrific team. We went two years undefeated at one point. So we did. Through that, I went to the Glasgow Schoolboys and the Scottish Schoolboys. Then I, I went uh, senior. I went to Drum Chapel Amateurs for a two year spell, which was a famous amateur club in Scotland. And in one year, they, they sent 39 boys to senior football. It was such a, a famous team. Players at Asa Hartford. Bobby Hope, um, oh Alex Willoughby, Rangers. The, the, the many players went to went to play for their countries through Drumchapel. I then joined Queen's Park Queen's Park as an amateur, then professional. And my career went from there. I remember Asa Hartford because he's had, he had the, the hole in the heart, didn't he? Asa? Yes, right, he, straight. He, 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 I remember he finished in Norwich, I think. I think he did, yeah. Yeah, great player. Great. And he was coach of Man City for a while there. Do you ever actually go back home uh, regularly nowadays and give anything back? Well, I've got a great affinity to my, my area. I was brought up in the Govan uh, area, which was the, the shipbuilding area of Glasgow. And of course, uh, just at the end of the war, there was 147,000 people lived in that area. Now there's only about 22,000, of course, the shipyards have gone. No, they're not gone now. They're, they're starting to uh, reinvent itself and uh, through uh, the work. Uh, they're now doing work for the Admiralty, which is fantastic news for the shipbuilding industry because it was uh, that was the lifeblood of, of Glasgow really after the tobacco trade fell away and things like that shipbuilding was the industry